So noon today, a tweet is released indicating that the following emotes have been removed from competitive playlists in Fortnite. And they're all monkey and banana associated uh, emotes. And we are meant to assume that this is done to, you know, stem some, uh, just, just try to mitigate what could be perceived as racially insensitive to black people you know kind of emotes you've got the blanca emote there the whip crack remember uh remember fortnite made waves in the way of attention because of a black history month event yeah, yeah. where people were cracking that whip throwing tomatoes at people and all kind of stuff nice and uh, i'm not sure what capoeira has to do with anything but there it is so Before I go in by saying anything here, how do you feel about this? Isn't it funny that they chose this... Stupid. Yeah, they chose this Peely character to be effectively their mascot. And now we're seeing, oh, Peely's offensive. Because bananas can be associated with monkeys, and monkeys are what some people racially refer to darkies as, right? You know, as they would put it. As a black man myself, I think this is all butt-fucking hilarious. But again... You think it's stupid, too? I think it's it's stupid and silly. Because... At, at, you know what will end up happening? Because kids are... Kids, they'll find new emotes. New things that'll be even more... Uh, you know, even worse than the shit that you've already uh, vaulted. So are all emotes just going to be vaulted for, for competitive? Good, you've hit it on the head there. Because it's stupid. As far Every as I'm concerned, could, as far as I'm concerned, the bottom yeah. line is, you're giving this kind of shit power. Yep. If That's white beautiful. if white supremacists jump up and say, from now on, the A-OK -okay sign is, it means racial, you know what I mean? Then if you bow to that, you're giving it that power. This is just what is perceived as potentially racist right now. If you grant it that power, there's going to be a new set of things that will be perceived as the new racist things. And if you grant that that power, the cycle will continue. You're perpetuating a cycle here. And you're filling these, these young, impressionable minds that we're seeing games like Call of Duty grooming these days into the belief that, no, you should associate the monkey and the banana emotes or stickers or, you know, even just like, ooh, 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 ooh. you're seeing, uh, this is a Beast Boy emote, the Go Ape. I'm sorry that I don't have visual representations of what these emotes look like, but you can assume, or, you know, damn, is that one of the PlayStations taking off? A uh, damn space shuttle, calm down. Um, yeah, you can, uh... <laughs> You can assume j just the depiction of a monkey is now a racial thing. It's an animal that exists. It's an animal that exists. And I would use, I would, I would paint the picture that, are you going to make it so that we take out the cows? Because if we can see that there's a fat person playing, we're going to use the cow emote. You know what I mean? You don't really have a lot of skins of the fat person variety in your video game, specifically for the women, because only Penny is in your game, even though you have over 1,600 skins from, from over 24 fucking seasons. You're making these Dove commercials with these fat bitches talking about representation, but you, Fortnite, only have one big girl in your game. And if it wasn't for all of the whining and losing my mind all over your platform, you probably wouldn't even have pushed Penny through. Those years ago after I made a fuss about it, not tooting my own horn, of course you don't see or care about me, but you do see or care about the black people that might be harmed by this racism. Should I pretend to be one of those? I'm so offended by whip crack emote that you sold but is now not usable for some people. If I had another bone to pick Fortnite, it wouldn't just be with the overshield and the no build mode that you need to take out because it's so awful. But it's the fact that we're still frozen after a victory royale, so the emotes that we can use, we can't, like, like walk towards our friends and then use that, you know? It's fine. I guess you don't test things, but to make as little sense as you are here... Sad monkey emote. You know what I mean? That's, that's <laughs> offensive. Oh, 
I'm so hurt. I'm so triggered. What a Twitter fucking decision this is. That's how it feels. It feels like a knee-jerk Twitter reaction. When I hear the phrase, cosmetic emotes have been disabled in a competitive playlist, I think to myself, they must have been granting someone an advantage. Was it the flippin' sexy emote? where you drop down and you're laying flat for a while? Was it something that made it so that it was easy to hide behind a doorway or something where people couldn't see the person? No. Why is the juggling emote gone, you know? Were they juggling bananas? I don't know. The juggling and the, and the capoeira are real anomalies here. But again, what you're doing is teaching these children that anything banana and monkey associated should be, you know, what the fuck? There's enough racism out there. You don't need to reinforce it, Fortnite. That's that's what I feel. Yeah, look, the controller, the controller in my man Spider-Man's hand is yellow. Could that be offensive as well? You're teaching these kids to be very creative. But he said exactly what I said. Why is the drug in the capoeira They're, uh, they're, they're, you're teaching the kids to be very yeah, get more creative with your racism is what Fortnite is saying right Again, now. it'll just end up with no emotes <laughs> and no specific skins unless, you know, you're going to start censoring the fuck out of them. Like, Look how cute it is. Everybody's like, what they got against bananas? Yeah, some people are probably trolling or teasing, but other people like, oh boy, they're going to need it explained to them. That's what you've created, Fortnite. You've created a scenario where people go, why are they removing all the monkey and banana emotes? For them to then have to explain, some people use that in a harmful context towards black people because they regard them, even though as far as science is concerned, there's a likelihood that we do share a lot of, you know what I mean? As a people, as a species, not not just the darkies, but I guess the darkies is it. I'm sorry, I love that phrase because I hear it regularly and it's just like, is that supposed to hurt me? You know what I mean? Is this shit supposed to hurt black people? Cause it's just, it's water off of our back, which might be an offensive term to a Mexican. Or would it be a, a Cuban? Or one of the island dwelling, uh... See, I can't even get my fucking, you know, slurs straight. And that's the way that it should be. But y'all so curved, so bent, so gay. You wouldn't know what straight is, Fortnite. So let's be real, man. Stop. <laughs> Stop this bullshit. You just put out the Optimus Primal skin. And now one of his banging, beating on his chest thing is not okay? You're letting these kids win. You're feeding the trolls. Yep, and we're supposed to be ignoring And them. trolls only know how to escalate. Do not give them this, but you already did. Yep. And in the you same way that you're them. trying to virtue, you sold these emotes, homie. You yeah. sold them. What they're doing is validating them. This is validation. It's not just validation, it's recognition, man. The same recognition you see destroy people's lives when they jump on TikTok and any of the stupid little garbage behavior that they put out there gets them attention. And they'll keep doing it and they'll keep getting worse and they'll keep escalating. And some of these little idiots are being led around by their fucking nose hairs, being pulled along like Chris Chance to be made a fool of because they're willingly submitting to the Truman Show that they wish that their life could be as long as it meant people were looking at them. And when you do this, you're saying to the trolls, we see you. We see that thing that you're doing. We definitely, this isn't a whip crack in a Martin Luther King event. This is just a banana fucking, it's just a thing. And you know what I wonder? What? I wonder who brought it to their was it actual people? Again, remember, this is a popular it? game, so there's a likelihood maybe they're on stream and some some guy in a competitive capacity, everybody's on camera, and they started doing this, uh, you know, against them. And and if it was, it's clear, it, it could be apparent, but take those people that do that and make consequences out of them. Do not blanket throw this aqua across a playlist. You know what I mean? Like a, a quas, it's like I, I, I'm losing brain cells just thinking about this. You know what I'm saying? You should be ashamed. I just don't know who's behind decisions like this. Probably Tim Sweeney and his ridiculous ass. 
homie, if you want a virtue signal and imply, oh, fat bitches need love too, homie, then put big girls in your game mode and don't cover them up like you did, Penny, because titty meat is disgusting. But, you know, we got to have all the trans representation, all of this grooming shit, because that's OK. But a woman? No, no, no. Right. Better take those jiggle physics out and cover up that meat on her chest because femininity, not OK. Big girl, not OK. 1600 skins, furry skins every day. But women, that's not OK, right? So I say that to say this Fortnite. What are you walking down as far as a road? You had a lot of good things going for you. This is stupid. This is maximum stupid. So, D, I'm going to let you take it away for the end of it, because honestly, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for Fortnite here. Deleted it yesterday over this overshield bullshit. Why the hell should I be able to shoot a guy in the shotgun, fit with a like in the face with a shotgun multiple times, and the guy's like walking around, he's fine? Please. Do you, you have nothing to contribute to this? You were talking. I'm sorry, continue. You have created a situation where kids will go out of their way to be even dumber with their fucking emotes and or skins because you've given them the attention they crave. You've done it. You've, you've as you said, you've fed the trolls. Somebody I writes, I was a little confused with all the monkey business. Then I saw the whip crack emote and they understand. And they understand for you, Fortnite. Like, like, most of us wouldn't even think twice about any of these emotes. Or fucking stickers or sprays or anything. But the fact that put it all together and you're like, oh, this is all stupid, though. We get it, but it's... I understand if some people meant it in a racist way. But, but is it also is. possible? Is it also possible that they were just calling people monkeys? It's a thing that we do. Has gaming become so soft? It's just stupid. It's stupid. It's short-sighted. To it see Call of Duty absolutely more. lose itself. It's collaborating with people. And then they say leave children alone. And that's enough, bro. That's enough to get you removing the sky. Jeez. Can I say something <laughs> one time about X Defiant? It's worthy of capping over. It's worthy of pretending it's the hottest shit out there. X Defiant's netcode is a goddamn shame. And anybody with any experience it, in the shooter like, should know better than to think that's something that's dope as hell and really got legs. What's going to save X Defiant is how free it is. Fortnite knows all about that. But the truth and bottom line is, with Call of Duty acting the way that it is, with Fortnite acting the way that it is, Jesus, man. Every season, the map get bigger. Oh, I'm a, I'll am i have that traversal. Wouldn't want you moving around fast. You want some more overshield so that you could take longer to die? Fortnite's become a big screensaver, and there's going to be some real pretty billboards in there sooner or later. You know what I mean? I didn't know Fortnite actually had a big problem with racism until like a week ago when my friend was using Optimus Primal Skin and somebody came up to him and used the Wakanda Forever remote. That's racist. Ah! Yeah, Twitter is fuck. That's racist. Well, did somebody use the Wakanda Forever remote at you? Oh my gosh, it'll be the next That's batch. racist, you know what I mean? It'll be in the next batch of shit that gets removed. Someone says they're almost all banana monkey themed. They don't understand, but somebody will explain it to them. I can't believe Fortnite has banned monkeying around. Anything related to monkeys, bananas, or whipping. How fucking racist is the Fortnite community, goddamn. It didn't need to be that racist if, you know, if you just banned the motherfuckers. Why are any of these people competing at a level where, you know, we're seeing them? That's unfortunately... This is like stream sniper behavior. This is like you're watching a Delore stream, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, darling, as you said earlier, some people will not 
be using it in a racist context? Should they be banned because they're using an emote that other assholes are using? They should receive a warning and then a ban. It's easy to track everybody's Fortnite behavior. They're saving the clips and there's a there's like 90 other assholes in the lobby with you. So maybe somebody can retrieve a clip if it's bad. You know? This blanket shit? Mm-mm. This is one of your kids spills some milk and you call in the other kid that's at school and beat his ass. What are you doing? Shit had nothing to do with that, man. So that's the end of this video. I mean, can gaming get dumber? Please submit all your links to me. Love you. Talk to you soon. Take it easy. Thanks for joining, Dia. You know, you pulled her away from her busy schedule. <laughs>